What's up everybody, welcome to Best Massage Tech where today I'm taking a look at the Therabody Recovery Therm Hot and Cold Vibration Knee. So this device is one of a few that's part of Therabody's new Recovery Therm line, which is their contrast therapy devices, which essentially replace ice packs, heating packs. This one actually includes some vibration. They call it cryothermal technology, but essentially it's just contrast therapy and different tools. And this device specifically is sort of Therabody's competitor, the Hyperice X, which I reviewed on this channel a little over a year ago. And it is essentially just a self-heating and cooling wrap that can essentially relieve the need for ice, relieve the need for height heating packs. So in today's video, we'll take a look at what comes with this device out of the box. We'll talk about some of the specifications and features of it. There's not really a whole lot to talk about. And then I'll just really describe my experience wearing it. That's one of the difficult things with these temperature devices is I really just have to describe what I'm feeling to you guys. Uh, but I will do that at the end. I'll show you how to put it on. I'll provide my final thoughts with it. I will say the name of it is a mouthful, so I probably won't fully say the Recovery Therm Hot and Cold Vibration Knee, uh, just because it's kind of a dumb name. They need to come up with something better than that. But anyways, let's take a look at what comes with it out of the box. So out of the box, everything does come in this neoprene case. It has the Therabody branding on the front. You have Therabody zippers on either end. It's got two handles. It's really kind of just like a little bit of like a I don't know, a computer case. Nice soft-sided case. It's really the same, pretty much the same thing that the Theragun Pro uh, that I recently reviewed came in. Inside the case, there is a bunch of different pockets. Let's see if I can get those to show up on the camera here. It does flip out. You've got a couple different pockets here. There's sort of like this mesh material. It does fully flip out. There's another mesh lining underneath that. Inside the case, you actually have the device itself, which looks like this. The device itself is mostly neoprene, but it does have what they call germanium fabric, which is a fabric that emits infrared light. It helps with the temperature regulation of this device. So on the top of it, you've got the control panel, you've got the power button up here, then you've got your hot button, your cold button, your contrast button, and your vibration button. Down below that, you have these little fans. This is what actually controls the heat. You can kind of see the blue fans inside there. There is four of those. You have a hole for your knee, and then on the back side, you have three different straps. Two of the straps come attached to the device, so they are fully attached. You just slip them through here when you're ready to put it on. The middle strap is a smaller strap. This goes just behind the knee. This one actually came separately, and I had to attach it myself, but it's just a smaller, thinner strap. Both of these straps are nice, thick, and sturdy. I will put an overlay here. I'll measure these after the fact here and just let you know what the actual uh, circumference is of this entire strap if you wanted to put this on. But that is the device itself. You see you've got a little bit of Therabody branding there. Uh, other than that, just the little Therabody logo in the front of the control device. On the back of it, it does just say the inner fabric is 89% germanium infused nylon, 11% spandex. The outer fabric is 84% nylon, 16% spandex. Spot clean only, you see user manual, do not machine wash, made in China. So that is that. You then get the battery pack. So the battery pack is an external battery that can plug into it. It just slips into the top of the device like this, super easy. You see it light up there a little bit when I drop the battery in, it does just pop out. This battery is compatible with all their recovery therm devices, which right now is just one other device. Then you have a charging cord and block. So you've got the wall outlet here, uh, just like that. And then the cord actually into the block is USB-C, but the other end of it is USB-C or USB-A. So essentially this cord is multifunctional, so you can either take it directly from the wall and plug it into your battery, which is a USB-C, just like that, or you can sort of switch it around and plug in the USB-C on one end and plug in your little USB-A adapter and use any sort of USB-A port to charge it directly there without this block. So kind of cool there that they include that little USB-A adapter. Uh, but once it's charged, you just go ahead and drop that battery in. So again, I'll just show that again here. And you wanna make sure there's some little prongs here on the top of it. Those go facing out. Then lastly, you get a little Therabody envelope like this. Uh, just has a unit warning and a little user guide. 
Uh, the user guide is actually pretty useful here because there's not a lot that shows up on this screen to let you know what's going on. So it just helps, helps you uh, with putting it on. But really what is useful is it, it gives you the information for each of the preset protocols. So uh, once you do turn it on, and I'm just gonna turn it on right now quick just to show. You just press it, it vibrates quick a little bit, but you'll see there's a couple different lights around here. I'm gonna turn the cold function on. So you see there's six blue lights that light up here. Each one of these blue lights represents a step of the cycle. So for example, in the cooling cycle, there's gonna be all six steps. It's just gonna do cold for three minutes, but on the contrary, no pun intended, if you hit the contrast button here, it'll do three minutes in step one of cooling, three minutes of step two of cooling, two minutes of heating in step three, then three minutes of cooling, three minutes cooling, two minutes heating. So just having this little user manual here is just helpful to know how long it's gonna spend in each step there. It also has some recommendations of what which routine to use. So if you're gonna use pre-activity, use it hot, post-activity, use it cold, post-activity for soreness, contrast. So if you're not familiar with really any of that, I think a lot of that's straightforward for most athletes, but if you're not, that's helpful. So that is the last thing that you get in it. So. When I did have that on here, you probably heard a little bit of some of the noise. I'll go ahead and turn it on one more time here, just so you can hear the fans. So these fans are really what controls all the temperature regulation of it. And I guess I should also mention the back side of these behind the straps. This is really the only places that you're gonna actually feel the temperature is on these plates. And on the edge of these plates are these sort of metal prongs. These also have a lot of the temperature regulation on them. Uh, and actually they're still cold from when I just had that on. But so there's these little prongs underneath each of one of these just helps increase the surface area of where you're actually feeling that. But you're not gonna feel anything on these in-between areas where it's just neoprene. So most of the temperature regulation limited just to those areas. Now, again, I do wanna turn it on just so you guys can hear the fans. It's not anything super loud. You do only hear the fans when it's in the cooling mode. Pull it up by my mic here. But I would say it kind of sounds like a small drone. It's definitely louder than like a laptop fan. I would say from what I recall, it's louder than the Hyperice X fans were, uh, but these fans are definitely bigger than the fans on the Hyperice X. Uh, when it comes to the heating function, there's no real noise associated with that. It's just a little bit quieter. It's not as loud. And then what is really a little bit loud is the vibration functions. So there is three different vibration settings you can see here. So you just quick press those. So that's essentially all this thing does. Uh, I will go ahead and show myself putting it on now and then describe what I'm feeling while I'm wearing it. So, so in order to go ahead and put the device on, just go ahead and undo all the straps. You wanna make sure that you're lining this hole up with your knee. The control unit should be towards the top. Now they do recommend it using it with your knee at either a 90 degree angle or straight. So you do have to kind of straighten it to put it on, but I recommend putting on the top strap first. It just, from my experience, seems to be the easiest, followed by the bottom strap. And then once you have both of those straps on, then go ahead and adjust the small strap behind your knee. So once you've got those all on, go ahead and just adjust it for comfort. Again, you wanna make sure that this control panel is to the top and this little hole is lined up over your knee. Now this battery does slip out really easily, so you just wanna be careful. You know, you can see this here, it just nothing really holds it in. So just wanna make sure again that this is towards the top. And then once you're ready, just go ahead and, and turn it on. Now a couple things about this, the battery life is gonna vary on this depending on what setting you're using it on. So they do rate it as a 60 minute battery and that's gonna be 60 minutes on cold. If you're using it on the hot setting only, it'll last about 90 minutes. And if you're using the contrast setting, it'll be about 30 minutes only. So pretty decent lifespan of the battery. And again, you do have the removable battery so you can get more batteries and replace them. But once you're ready to go ahead and turn it on, you just press this button quick. You'll hear two little vibrations. That'll let you know that it's on. And I'll try to show the control unit here, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the cold therapy. And so with the cold therapy setting, it does automatically turn the vibration on the lowest speed. And almost immediately you start to feel it get cold. It's actually 
pretty impressive. And I'll lift my leg up here. It's actually pretty impressive how quickly it does get cold, but it's not anything super, super cold. And I wouldn't say it's necessarily comparable to ice, but it is definitely a noticeable cold. And I'll say it's maybe something like if you reached into something in your refrigerator, it feels like it's that cold. Now, nowhere on Therabody's website does it actually say, or on the packaging, uh, does it actually say how cold that it gets. So it's a little bit difficult for me to judge that. So I can just sort of have to describe what I'm feeling here. I definitely feel because the backs of these are metal that the cold is definitely a little bit more obvious right away because that is that metal. And again, you have that germanium fabric, which is supposed to help with the temperature regulation of this. So again, this has got the six different settings on here. Each setting on here represents two to three minutes, depending on which function you're doing. For this one, it's gonna go for about 18 minutes, and each of those dots is gonna represent three minutes on the cold setting. So you can adjust the vibration if you wanna turn that up a little bit more. So here I've got it on the cold setting and all three vibrations. I'm gonna turn the vibrations off. You can do just cold. I'm gonna switch over to the heat section now. Sorry, heat setting. So at the heat setting, it automatically does vibration level two. And because I just had it on cold, it'll take a couple seconds here, but you pretty much start to notice the heat like within 30 seconds of switching it, which is crazy how quick these fans can adjust the temperature. And this is like warm already. And, and it's very, very warm comparable to what I would say a heating pad would be already. Again, I'm only feeling it directly below these fans though. I'm not feeling it on this area around my knee at all specifically. So um, it's definitely targeting like my quad muscles and sort of my calf and my shin. So that's what the heating setting does. Go ahead and stop that and I'll go to the contrast here. So contrast actually, I was saying earlier, it shows you orange light and blue light when it's gonna be cold and warm so you know what's coming next. And you'll see it's got all three vibration settings on here right now as well. And so this one with the vibrations, it's sort of like pulsating in the vibrations as well. It's not just a constant vibration. And again, this is on cold right now. So I could sit here for a full session. I don't think it's super valuable for you watching. I just wanted to show what it does. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. But again, this technology is really crazy. It's similar to the Hyperice X technology. The fact that they're able to change the temperature so quickly. I guess the benefits of this that I would say is that it's obviously a lot less messy than a bag of ice. It's a lot less work than running around with a heating pad and trying to wrap it around your leg. I think the technology probably has a little bit of ways to go. I think if they can make the fans smaller and quieter and add more of them, I think we'll start to see devices for maybe your shoulders and just different parts of your body. I think this is just the beginning of it. The price tag of this is currently $399. It does include a one year warranty. It is FSA and HSA eligible. Certainly if you have the budget, it's something worth playing around with. If you're somebody that does have to ice or heat your knee a lot, if you have a lot of inflammation or you really just need to warm up, certainly could be worth it from a convenience standpoint, but at that price tag, it is a pretty expensive tool and you're paying for basically some really new technology, but overall, it's definitely cool. Um, no pun intended there, but yeah, it's just gonna depend on, on your budget. I don't think this is necessarily worth it for me, but certainly something I am gonna continue to explore as the technology with these evolves. And because I do think the price will eventually go down as more competitors get into the market too, which is obviously only a win for us as the consumer. But if you have specific questions, about the Recovery Therm hot, cold vibration knee device, drop them in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you like videos like this, please consider subscribing to the channel, hit the notification bell so you get notified when new videos are up. Consider giving the video a thumbs up. But otherwise, that is the Therabody Recovery Therm hot and cold vibration knee device. That's a review, enjoy your recovery.